How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry, I know it's been a minute since I made a video, but I had finals week and then the week after that, um, the weather was super junk, raining and windy all over the island, big waves. So didn't get to do any diving or fishing and so I couldn't make any videos, but I should be back now. I'm on break and the weather's starting to come nice again. So hopefully more fishing, more diving and more videos for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But I got a pretty sick video for you guys today. A couple days ago, I went diving with my friends Matt and Kainoa and we went out with the goal of getting some fish for Christmas dinner. And so we hit a bunch of deeper reef zones and also did some fishing on the rods and managed to get really lucky and come back in with a bunch of really nice fish. Um, but yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. <laughs> Minor birds going off. But yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. And in case I don't make another video before the new year starts, Happy New Year to all of you as well. Thank you all so much for all of your support over the past year. All of you guys who have been watching my videos and who have subscribed and all of that, I genuinely appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys in the new year. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. I'll see you in the water. Shoot. All right guys, so we started off the dive in some deeper water. This is about 100 to 105 feet. Uh, I know this drop actually ended up being 101 feet. And Matt had made a drop right before me and saw a bunch of really nice sized uku. So I'm going down here. As you can see, there's a lot of pretty nice structure. So I'm making my way down and kind of trying to look around, figure out where I'm gonna land. And I land right on top of this rock right here. And as soon as I look up, I don't really see much in front of me, but then I turn around and there's two pretty good sized ukus coming in. And one of them was a little bit bigger and coming in pretty close. So I line up on this guy, pull the trigger, and I managed to get a nice gill plate shot, especially cause he was real close, it was, you know, kind of point blank range there and so this was actually if you guys remember in my last video i shot my deepest fish ever which was a uku at 101 feet and this was also at 101 feet so tied tied up my deepest fish ever but i was really feeling it on the way up um and i started calling uh my dive partners down and matt comes down to grab my gun because the uku was about to spool me and i don't think i showed it on camera but yeah i was almost out of line and i did not want to drag this uku up the rest of the way so matt comes down super fast and grabs my gun for me but yeah you can see how much line he pulled out here and i cut the clip because i didn't want to just have like a minute of me pulling in line but here he comes, first fish of the day, really nice size uku. But yeah, if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but when I, after I shot that uku and I turned around on my way up, there was actually like three or four more ukus on the other side of me that I didn't see because I was tunnel vision on this guy. And a few of them were actually pretty big, like 10, 15 pounders, but I didn't see them. And I was real focused on this guy right here. So I wasn't looking around, should have looked around, but you know, it is what it is. Still a really nice size uku, still super stoked on it. Show the head 
headshot. Show the headshot. Yeah, that's more better. So after a few more drops in that deep zone, the Uku started to leave and we decided to switch spots. But in between spots, we wanted to do a little bit of fishing. So we dropped the Damashis, dropped some jigs and tried our luck. Oh, that's a big one. Perfect, right? Oh, bro, that's a big one. On the jig. Bro, how's this Naventa I just caught? Yeah, I saw another one. Hold it up, Matt. Dude, there's something big on there. Drop the jig. Hold it up, Matt. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, number two. Once the bite started slowing down, Matt and I, we jumped in the water again. And this is a lot shallower than what we were at before. This is about 60 or 70 feet. And I hit the bottom here because I, I saw one coral head sticking up out of all these flats. You can see it in front of me right there. I saw a couple deep uhus, parrotfish, and some other random stuff. And I figured might have some fish on this little structure here. And when I looked to my left, I actually saw a small Real small uku, I don't know if he shows up on camera here, but... Saw that uku and then I look in front of me and I spot this really nice size Moanakali. And so I line up on him. Pull the trigger. Got this weird kind of quartering away shot. Uh, that went in mid body on one side and then came out kind of on his cheek by his mouth. We yeah, have really nice size Kali, probably probably close to three pounds, maybe not quite three, but around there. Really good steaming, so steaming size. So got another nice fish in the boat, super stoked on that. There's Matt's flasher dropping. He's about to make his drop. Yeah, beautiful Kali. One of the most beautiful eating fish on the reef in my opinion. Now you can see what I was talking about, about that courting away shot. Went in, went in on one side and then came out at the front of, like by his head on the other side. So after that, Kainoa made a drop at a, we changed spots and Kainoa makes a drop here. And he actually shoots a Moanakali and I was going down to film it. But then as he's coming up, it rips off. So I just changed my, changed my plan of action and I dove right past him to try and secure his Moanakali for him. And he actually goes into this hole, but it was so dark that I couldn't really see. So I duck my head under and I see him and I start to try and put my gun in the hole, but then he takes off. You can see him go left there. And I tried to look for him, but I'm on like half a breath here because I was just gonna go down and, and film Kainoa bringing up his fish. So I wanted to look for him some more, but I look in there, didn't see him. Looked a little bit over here, didn't see him. And by this point, I'm about to drown. So I, 
I kind of dug out after that. Very unfortunate. Wish I could have got that Wanakali, but it's all good. And then here's Matt. He makes a drop right after and shoots this nice sized yellow spot. But this spot dried up pretty quick, so we moved once again to another kind of similar to where I shot the Kali. Nice flat grounds and then this one singular coral head that was poking out, so I kind of dove next to that. This time I didn't really see too much fish um, actually on this coral head when I was on the surface, but I figured it's the one structure in this flat ground, so might have something around it. So I hit the bottom, I dust a little bit, there's a puffer fish coming to check me out. And then I look to my left, there's some ukus coming in behind me, some baby ukus. And then this school of vekinonos or vekeulas starts coming to my left and they start going behind me. And so instead of trying to turn my body all the way around, I kind of waited until they were coming up on the other side of me so that I could use less energy. But as I'm turning my body to line up a shot, they kind of start digging out. But they seem pretty tame, so I figured if I wait long enough, they'll probably make another pass. And I waited a little bit, didn't even have to wait long, there's another two baby ukus. And the vekinono start coming right back in. So I pick out the biggest one that I can see, get a shot off. And this Veke, Veke Nono ended up being like one of the biggest Veke Nonos I've ever shot in my life. He was about maybe a little bit bigger than the Monokali just because he's fat. He was fatter. But yeah, really nice size Veke. Definitely a lot bigger than the ones I usually see. And these vekas, they fight hard. They fight harder than any other goatfish, in my opinion. They're kind of like an uku. They'll take one big run, take out a bunch of line, and then they're kind of tired already. But still, no, no other goatfish is going to take a run like that. Yeah, another really nice size goat. These guys have a cool little pattern on them too the, that you watch in this clip, he actually changes colors on camera, which is pretty cool. You watch his, his stripes start to form. Like there, he changed colors right there. Pretty crazy. Another really pretty fish, super bright red, which is really cool. Yeah, that was my second to last fish of the dive. I shot one more smaller, decent sized uku after this, but my camera was already dead. So I, unfortunately I didn't get any footage of it. But yeah, super action packed dive. Also got some nice fish on the rods, which is pretty sick. But yeah, couldn't really ask for, couldn't really ask for a better day out on the water. My uku, another uku, Matt's uku, my veke, probably the biggest one I ever shot. And then the Kali on the jig, Kali on the bottom. Matt shot this yellow spot, and then Matt's nabeta, and then this nabeta. Funny looking one. Yeah, that's all. Dog one, dog two, dog three, dog four. Hey, Benji. Funny. Sing store. All 
right guys so we got all the fish here got this really nice size uku probably like a maybe like a five pounder not bad and then we got these two big goats we got the vecchinono might be the biggest vecchinono i've ever shot good size and we got big cully another beautiful goat but yeah so we're gonna get these all cleaned up i'm at my grandma's right now for a christmas dinner so i'm gonna clean the i'm gonna clean all of them haven't decided which one i'm gonna cook yet because i mean it's my grandma's house so she, you know she got plenty of food already but um probably gonna do the uku and just make like katsu so that i can I mean it's the easiest it's the fastest um and can feed a lot of people and I have a feeling most people will like ukukatsu so probably gonna do that but yeah gotta clean all these guys first so see you guys after that yes all All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Super action dive, got a couple really nice ukus and tied up my deepest fish ever at 101 feet again. So I was pretty stoked on that. Um, got a couple of nice ukus, um, the two really nice sized goats, beautiful size Moanakali and one of the biggest Veke Nonos or Veke Ulos I've ever shot in my life. And also Matt, Matt guys, Matt and Kainoa, they also got some nice fish. Matt got that nice yellow spot. And he also shot a nice uku that I didn't get on camera. Um, and then Kainoa shot that, shot a Moanakali and then it came off. I tried to chase after it, but couldn't get it in time. Um, but yeah, super action dive. And on the rods, that was my first or the first time catching on a Veta, I think ever. And it was one of those black ones that I've never seen before. So that was pretty cool. 
And then also Matt got a nice Nabetta as well. And then that nice Moana Kali on the jig that Kainoa caught. So super action day of, of fishing and diving. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Once again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you guys all who have watched my videos over this past year. And those of you who have been watching my videos even before that, thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to me. And I hope you guys will continue to tune into this channel next year and uh, dive safe everybody in the new year. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next one. Shoot.